Okay, hello everybody, especially on the YouTube site, hello. So I've been, as you can see in my uh, Manda zone, I've been meshing that a while for quite some time already, ever since it was uh, released. So I only have like one, basically one mission left, which is killing fucking Zawardo, the last one. I don't think there's another one after that, because that's only like, I only have like that one book left. One upgrade from the book left, which is this stupid 20% HP thing. So, I guess this is basically like a, a sharing session of like my setups for the ones that I use for meshing a sandbox. But we all know it's quite known already, like what are the better ones to mesh. But because, you know, I have a certain weapon and... I was mashing really hard to get the guide books, but the new guide books are really, really good, right? The new guide books are really good. Probably the one of the better ones is this one and this one, the two new ones. The other, the other ones are pretty sh whatever. This is a new set of books that we got, that we get from uh, the main, the, the third zone. This one and this one is shit. This is this one is good. <laughs> Maybe this one is not so bad if you fully upgrade it, but to me, it's pretty shit. <laughs> Yeah, to me it's not that great. The only thing that you get is just double strike. Maybe you, use, you probably might need to use this if you don't have Arashki Gale or something. You can probably use this as like a studio Arashki Gale, for example. Something like that. <laughs> but for the most part, it's kind of whatever. That, that one is kind of whatever. This, this two is really strong because you get a lot of uh, supplemental for your normal attacks. You get a lot of uh, echo. I don't even know why I'm clicking that. I can just show you here. You get a lot of echo because the books also kind of stack with one and another. So that's why it's also really, really good. You get the normal damage cap by 20% as well. And you get a guaranteed triple attack for all of your party members as well. So it's pretty damn good. And then you can stack that with uh, this one as well, which gives you extra 20%. So that's why if you use the, uh, the thing together, you get a total of 50% echo. Do I have that here? Yeah. Where the fuck is my echo? There it is. <laughs> yeah, you get 50% echo, you get the skill supplemental shit from that book as well. But yeah, this book is also really good because it adds a lot of extra skill cap and uh, skill supplemental. So it really depends on what kind of setup you are uh, you're using. And because you know, I attack a whole lot more. And I guess if you count the uh, comparison between this and the one before, because in zone number two, you get this book. And this book isn't really that bad either. But in terms of the amount of uh, cap and supplemental you get out of it, the uh, this book is actually providing a whole lot more. That's why I'm using this instead of the one before. Yeah, so... Those ones are probably the ones you want to max out first. In order to max the uh, the fire, basically I label them as like the fire and earth one because that's kind of like the bosses that you really need to do. So in order for you to max that out, the important ones is basically you just mash the earth guy, this guy, and then this guy, or whatever the thing is, and then you get the uh, defender. You kill. You need to kill the defender like crazy as well in order for you to get the supplemental. And then you also need to do this, if I recall correctly, this one as well. And then the, the fire one, you need to do this hot-headed guy. You need to do the fucking uh, fire demon guy. And then if I recall correctly, you need to do... Uh, I forgot what was the last one. This one, I think, if I recall correctly. Along with the defender to finish the, uh, the, 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 the fire one. So this is the fire one, right? Oops. Yeah, this is the fire one. You you clear all the fire dudes. This is the one you're unlocking. If you clear all the earth one, this is the one you're unlocking. So those are the two uh, important ones that you need to do. Other than that, uh, the, the, the water and the wind one, you can pretty much ignore or whatever. Yeah. So besides that, there's the few setups that I have in terms of uh, books. The book setup, this is my burst setup. Which I use the Shockwave, Specialist, and Veiler. You probably can get rid of Veiler if you're just over damaging it. I think you can actually just get rid of this if you want to like include like the, the Bounty one. I forgot which is the Bounty one. Yeah, this one. 
if you just want bounty, but to me, I don't think bounty really fucking matters at all. <laughs> so you can just, I feel like you can just ignore that altogether. But yeah, this is that one set that I just used to like OTK the uh, the three bar, the three HP bar guys. Basically, it works for every single element. Cause if you, for those who didn't know, this does not have any elemental resistance. Yeah, so this doesn't have any er elemental resistance. That's why my main setup is just fucking uh, Erash Giga, lol. Easy. Uh, I don't use this one. I use this one. The reason being is that F Leech actually does something instead of uh, Fidel. Because Fidel requires you to press a button. And Leech does not. And because Leech doesn't do that because I have this guy. Yeah, this guy helps because he does that stupid uh, supplemental damage taken. This actually acts as a debuff, which allows Leech to auto-nuke at the end of turn. So, so having Leech is pretty helpful as well in that regard. Because she adds another nuke and you do the, 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 you know, you have the extra skill cap, supplemental, whatever. So it helps as well. And Bowman and Six is just stupid as hell, so you just use that. I'm pretty sure if you have Mag, you just use Mag. <laughs> And then you could probably even, re you can get it more consistently by removing uh, the thing and then you just use the bounty and whatever shit. But yeah, this is the one that I'm using. I'm pretty sure you don't really have to copy directly. I'm just using this and it seems to work. So I'm just, I'm just using that. <laughs> and also because I don't think I shared this before, but I already farmed enough to max out my uh, Nia's dagger. So yeah, I already have enough, but because I don't have the sands, I didn't really want to do it yet. So I'm just I'm just leaving it there for now. So since I already have it to full limit break at least, so it's helping, right? So that's why I slot that in there. I don't really need astral. Astral is a stupid ass uh slot now because you know I oops, I get a lot of out of uh AX already from this and then this one because you know. This two is a feast, and I don't think I'm really doing that much damage as MC anyway, so it doesn't really fucking matter. But yeah, since I also do not have Shalim Axes, so I'm using this one Celeste Axe to get extra uh, voltage and stuff, and my uh, extra Magna Mod, because the only other Magna Mod I have is this one, because I'm using Magna Opus, right? So these are the two Magna Mods that I have, the rest is... Just, yeah, Fallen Swords. I have this because I borrowed that in the past, which is kind of like a waste, but I'm making use of it for now because I have four axes, as you can see. So this technically works. <laughs> yeah. Then to agonize, the but the, this one, I'm using it because, you know, six is Arun, right? So I'm just using the dagger. So yeah, it works. And then Ultima Fist, blah, blah, blah. The rest is fine. The summons, I think you can just use... I think the most important one is this guy, this guy, Babu main summon. I don't even know if Babu main summon is really needed, but yeah, I just use him as Bab, just use that as in there and it still works anyway. <laughs> it also kind of helps MC to be more consistent, I suppose. So having uh, Babu main summon, Belial, this, this too is probably the important one. If you have Mag, I don't think you need this at all. It's because you can just swap this for Mag anyway, or... I'm not sure if the Yukata Ilsa is any better. I probably sh I'm pro I'm quite certain Mag is probably better for zero buttons anyway, but yeah. So this is the one that I'm using for like OTK stuff. Right? Yeah. So you want I can just show you for now, I suppose. So any one works. Tr any three HP one works. So I'm using this burst set this book setup I was just mentioning and then yeah. Ta-da! So cool, right? That's what Erash Gigel does. <laughs> so it helps out a lot, and yeah, it works for every single uh, three HP bars in the in the sandbox. Yep. And then for uh, the the non-upgraded version of the defender, like this this defender one here. When there's no plus, what I use is basically the the one you saw earlier, but with Fidel instead. Right, so this is the one that I use. The grid is exactly the same. Everything is the same. I just left it as the same. But instead, I have uh, Zinitra here and I'm using Yatima as well. Okay, so this is the other change that I have. And what I basically did is that this allows me to basically, like, I think it requires me to 
press five buttons, I think. I'm not entirely certain. I haven't really properly tried it. Like if I can go for like three or four buttons, but five buttons is very consistent for like just doing my my set the, the the whole one turn setup. Like this one, I think I'll just show it from here. Um, where's my burst? Okay. But yeah, this should be very consistent because uh, that's what I do. So non upgraded defender, I can just wait. No, I don't need that. <laughs> I need this instead. Yep, there it is. One but no, uh, one turn, easy. So that's the one that I use for the uh, the non-upgraded version of defenders, just so I can speed it up and shit. Okay, and then for. I think for full auto setup, my full auto setup is very very uh, I would say very inconsistent. Like, the time, I mean. <laughs> it's not really the best either. I'm, I, I'm pretty sure there are better setups out there. But I'm just sharing what I used anyway for, like, the uh, full auto setup. I don't think I'm going to show all the, uh, like, the full auto, how it works, everything right now. Because, as you can see, I do not have the uh, the defenders down uh, up right now. But I'll just show you what I used anyway. So, for the full auto setups that I use for uh, Kaong... The uh, Kaong setup that I use is the same thing that I always use because I'm too lazy to think of some anything. Excuse me. So I'm just using the same shit. <laughs> my my stupid can go every fucking turn setup is slow as shit. I wouldn't really recommend because it's just way too goddamn slow. But to me, it's consistent and it works. So why the fuck not, right? I am just too lazy to think of another one. <laughs> so. Yeah, this is the grid that I'm using. I have I already made came as you all know, so I'm using that as well. So I have the this one because I have Doraf and shit, right? And then Katana, blah blah blah. I don't think I really need this either, but eh, whatever. It works. <laughs> I don't think I need this either, but eh, whatever. <laughs> too lazy to change. So that I don't even need this too, but I'm just using it for the hell of it anyway, because the uh This one kinda works as well. But then again, I'm using this guy, so I, yeah, I don't think it really matters too. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just using this setup. That's that's how it is, and it works consistent enough for Kaong, sure. And then for the... Uh, this one I was playing around yesterday, and since because uh, for those who didn't know, I did spend some roles in the summer... Not summer, the Yukata Ilsa and the stupid Nataku banner, and somehow I managed to get Nataku, so... I was just fucking trying him out, and turns out that he uh, he he wasn't really that bad to use in that setup, so I just stuck with it. Eh, all right, wrong one. Yeah, so this is the one I think I kind of just stuck with. I was just using the this one allowed me to clear in like consistently seven turns or some shit, so it wasn't half bad. But yeah, using the mana diver stuff with the usual uh Leviathan. And then I was just using the, the usual AES setup. I'm using this fucking trashy ass dagger, Akaram dagger, as my main hand, just because that it allows me to get very close to 100% critical anyway. That's why. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess that kind of helps out a lot. And, uh, yeah, I'm using this because I have Frau uh, mostly completed as well anyway. So, I got a full moon break, use that, sure. And I think this is like the same thing as before. I have two lo uh, lot of flames and the uh, Mika X dagger. Yeah. So it just works, I guess, for this. And then I have two, two of these in the back line. Sure, and it works out. So this is the one that I use. Oh, right. For the books, I think uh, if I recall correctly, for books on fire, I used... Uh, I think I used up on... I just used this if I recall correctly. I don't think I really changed that much. I was mostly just reusing the same ones that I had from before. Because those are really OP books. And for Kaong, I think Kaong I was using... Uh, if I recall correctly, I think I was using back this one for Kaong. Was it this one? I don't remember actually. <laughs> I think I was using this for Kaong. I can't really remember because I switched it up already. Oh, wait. I'm using this one. Never mind. 
Yeah, I, I'm using this one. I do not really know why. I don't think it really matters either. But yeah, I was using that. And then for uh, for Moringa, I was quite certain that I was using this exact same setup because uh, normal attacks help a lot for uh, Percival uh, Silver setup shit thingy. And because, you know, it's auto based as well in a way. So it helps out Nataku as well, I suppose. But uh, yeah, that's what I used. And then for uh, Prometheus, Prometheus, uh, the defender, I was using the uh, my water, which is the Ogi as well. Yeah, I'm just using back this same one and it works out. So sure, whatever. Didn't really do a lot of changes. Yeah, just use that with uh, Diaspora, Schrodinger shit and it works. Yep. Very, very minimal changes. I did not really bother thinking a lot of for this one. So yeah. <laughs> For books as well, I think I'm using the same. I think I'm using uh my old one or some shit. It's either I use this one or this one. I don't think it really is that different. <laughs> it's either that or this one. I think I... Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure I use either this or this. So, it's really not that different. And then for... Uh... Gilgamesh, yeah. For Gilgamesh, for I'm using my... I think I was using... Yeah, Gilgamesh, I think I was using this same one. <laughs> if I recall correctly, I think I'm using this exact same one with... Uh... Oops. With the uh... book setup, I'm using the this this one. Even I label it as Zawardo because this is technically the exact same one that I used to full auto Zawardo. Yep. Or the wall, or whichever you want to call it. I'm <laughs> so yeah. This is the one that I'm using for the main one, which is Zarado. So I'm using this one. It allows me to. I don't really know if this is ideal or not, or optimal or not. But I just randomly put that in, and it seems to be working for me. So I didn't really bother changing it all that much. <laughs> So yeah, I'm using two spoons, two spoons, two raw axes, and uh, one harp, two beaks and shit. And uh, yeah, my crit is max, so it helps out a lot. And I have a lot of HP. As you can see, I have a lot of HP on MC, so it pretty works out. I'm, I'll show you guys how it is. But I'm quite certain it should be very, very consistent anyway. I'm not even sure if this is needed, but I think uh, just to get it to 100%, I probably need that yeah i have a lot of fucking crit in here i'm pretty sure i don't really need that much but yeah <laughs> i also kind of got full moon break uh judgment harp that's why i'm using that as well uh the rest yeah i don't know <laughs> but from what i've tested so far of what i've seen so far there is some inconsistency sometimes i do not know what is causing that but i guess we're about to find out if uh if this one doesn't really show. But uh I'm using this setup because number one cat is really strong, right? And I'm also using CTA because there is one very annoying thing that this boss has, which is the plane damage trigger. There's one omen that requires you to uh do one million plane damage. And it's kinda hard to like consistently get that in in a way. Because, you know, plane damage doesn't really come by often. To properly do it in like full auto or whatever. But from what I've seen so far in this setup, my fatal chain and with the help of 150 CAT does consistently line up properly, so... I guess that's good. <laughs> But yeah, with the help of the uh, the new books, the amount of damage you get out of uh, CATS nukes, cats nukes, and leeches nukes, it's pretty nuts. So it helps out a lot. Yeah, 12 million from leech. Yeah, so there's a lot of Ogi. I don't really like using Kango these days, but... Uh, I need a fatal chain, right? So I'll, I have to use Kango. 
Because if not, I'd rather just use either Viking or Mana Diver, those kind of stuff. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure if you can replace Leech. Basically anyone that does a lot of damage, I suppose. I guess maybe Potato might work, Grand Potato might work, but... I don't know. Because Leech just does way more damage for a shorter amount of time, so that's why I'm use using her. And yeah, this guy... This boss also is a little bit annoying in a way because he does remove debuffs like every 25%, right? But with the help of Cat and with the help of Siete and your Kango buffs and also Leech to, to buff literally the entire team. Even though, you see, there's like some inconsistencies but I don't think it really matters too much from what I noticed because, you know, I'm Oging a lot anyway. So, uh, this is the turn that I'm going to nuke, if I recall correctly. And this should get it down to 50%. Yeah. So, you see, so this is what is actually lining up. You see, my Fatal Chain is gonna go 100% with this. So, this is what it's doing, right? This will guarantee to hit 50%. Because the first trigger, the plane tri play damage trigger is at 50%. So this 100% gets it to full Fatal Chain, and because of Siete, just say goodbye to Oda Omen. Yep. Yeah, there it is. I'm actually over damaging it too. And technically this is also a big turn because of Cat's double strike shit, because it's turn 6. So there it is, plane damage number one, cancelled, easy. The next one, if I recall correctly, he does it around like 20% or something. I thought it was 25% but actually he does it like around 20%. But it should line up properly at 20%. I think? From what I've seen, he does do that. <laughs> I am not really that confident, unfortunately, but I've seen that work most of the time, so I guess it does, right? <laughs> 30 million damage should not be a problem, I guess. Oh yeah, I guess it does line up. There it is. Fatal Chain, 60% already. And then my meter is like this. Yep, there it is. Actually lined up perfectly. Damn, feels good, man. <laughs> yeah, my damage is not consistent there because I have no debuffs. It's just that I'm just buff buffed to Oblivion. Yeah, so that should be the plane damage, right? Yeah, there it is. Plane damage. Perfectly lined up. Mm. <laughs> CT 150 too good. <laughs> and also because, you know, I've capped as well. The dodge is just too insane as you can see. Like, it just helps out with my survivability as you notice. I'm still very, very healthy and I'm using Magna as well. And he's dead. Oops. This turn is ATS 4 turn. So yeah, he's dead. He should die. Usually I notice he tends to die at turn 11. But when... I do notice maybe like... Once or twice... Randomly it happens. He... It takes me more than 11 turns and I was like dying or some shit. I do not know. Probably just somehow doesn't line up properly or some shit. But yeah. As you can see, he should be dead already. Boom. 
6 minutes plus 6, 7 minutes. So it's not so bad. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there are better ones out there, but yeah, it works right to me. As long as it works, I don't think it really matters. <laughs> but yeah, that's the upgraded. My that's that's the the full auto setup that I use for the upgraded version of uh, the world. Yeah. So that's the one that I use. Yeah. This I guess I'll just show it again. That's the one. That's the one that I'm using. The summons. Blah blah blah. Yep. And then with uh, the book setup is this one. Obviously, you probably want it all maxed out to actually make it work properly. But yeah, the reason why I use this particular setup is because this gives you a lot of supplemental to your skills. And well, we all know what I'm using, right? This character. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this one as well helps out a lot because, you know, she does a lot of uh, multi-hit, right? She does a lot of multi-hit. Siete does multi-hit as well whenever his S2 is up. So it helps out a lot just to do a fuck ton of uh, damage nukes. And then, uh, yeah, you see as you, you get extra... I'm using this as well because I think this is kind of like the better version in a way of the books because when it comes to just uh, CA focus or like Kango shit that you're planning to do, I think this book is one of the better ones because this has stamina, this has CA cap, and you have CA supplemental. So it just gives allows you to overcap a lot easier and it just does a lot better in my opinion instead of the... Uh, the what's that the other one or something but this one is technically like two in one but this one yeah this one is kind of like whatever so it doesn't really matter too much so yeah this one is just for skill supplemental skill supplemental and a little bit of ogi because this gives your mc ca reactivation at the beginning so yeah and then with the whole ca cap shit just helps out a lot right so yeah, as you can see, this having these two combination is just really strong because you get like 52%, 52% skill cap there, right? And then you get how skill supplemental is 500k. <laughs> That's why like uh, you, you you do if you have like Halloween leech, you just do like so much, you know. So yeah, this is the uh, the setups that I use for my uh, in a way like my sandbox i guess i'm just showing like the uh the third zone i don't think you really you really need the second zone because second zone i don't really ma i don't think i really mash that much anymore yeah i don't think i really mash out that much anymore but i can still somewhat show you the, the the yeah so this is like the old setup that i'm using the book i'm pretty sure the books you can ignore already because i'm not going to use that anymore this is the character setup that i use for full auto for that one and then uh for granny i'm using this same one as well see it's like the same thing i didn't really change that much same goes for this as well this one i think i i was using somewhat different but i think i yeah i kind of replaced it before if i recall correctly this one i was using uh naru instead of siete so yeah same thing naru cat and leech instead of siete that's for Baal. And then for this one, I think I I changed this as well. Because before this, yeah, I wasn't I was using Kango. Uh, before this I was using Kango uh what's his what's what's her name? Medusa. Medusa, Percival, and Emone. That was the one that I was using pre uh prior to this. Which I think right now with the new the, the new setup that I'm using right now should work on on, on Garuda as well. It should. I think <laughs> I haven't really tested it but yeah if that's what you want to know yeah that's just the setup that I'm using for most of my sandbox stuff at the moment there's probably better setups out there but I'm just sharing the stuff that I have okay <laughs> yeah sure yeah that's okay that's it yeah that's all I have yep that's the setup for my sandbox at the moment uh, I don't think I'm really going to change it anytime soon, but if I have better characters, I probably will change it. If not, yeah, th this will be the setup that I have for now. Uh, hope you find this helpful, I suppose. Thanks for watching, and I see you guys on the next video, whenever that is. 